Hello everyone, we are in Japan, Kanazawa, in this beautiful park called Kienrokuen Garden. As you can see, it's incredible here, and this is going to be my first cinematic vlog, so please enjoy. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, our experience of working and traveling which we have been doing for four months now. Uh, we have been to four different countries and at least eight different locations. And it's been wonderful, but not without its problems. And these are the things that I'm going to talk about. So the first thing that I'm going to say is that we don't come from wealth. We haven't invested into Bitcoin or won a lottery. We are still working full time, so it's not exactly a vacation. When we first came to New Zealand, uh, things were quite tough and we had to work three jobs and live on three by three room so minimal expenses but that's exactly when we started planning and dreaming about this trip so 12 years later we're doing it we're finally doing it we had one problem after another we wanted to buy a house as soon as we bought a house we felt like we couldn't do it because we had uh, financial responsibility to repay it a little bit just kept on dragging and one day we saw tickets on sale uh, to Thailand to Bangkok and at that point we just we thought this is it I mean there is no better opportunity than than this we bought the tickets we didn't know where we're going we didn't know if we're going to have enough money we didn't know honestly anything about the country itself leaving New Zealand in our comfort zone were the two hardest things that we had to do after donating and selling everything that we had saying goodbyes to our friends both of us felt strongly about staying and canceling the entire trip. It wasn't exciting at all and it felt like you know, we're making the, big, the biggest mistakes uh, of our lives. So a day later we were in Bangkok in Thailand and suddenly it was all exciting again. It was, we were happy, we were doing things, we were seeing things that we've never seen before. It's definitely not a vacation. Uh, we're still working hard, sometimes 60, 70 hours a week. Not often though, um, and at the end of the day we do get to get out of the office and enjoy the views like these. Now the second thing is that the only time that you're going to get uh, for traveling is your weekend essentially. During the weekdays you could get out of your portable office early in the morning or in the evening. Both are fine. In fact these are probably the better times to get out of the, the house and, and travel because there will be not that many tourists. It's a great way to start your day, uh, you know, to go for a little walk then come back, sit down and start working or, or in the evening to finish up the day. But weekend is your main time for traveling. Which brings me to the second point. Book your place that you're going to stay at for at least two weeks. If, if you're doing it like we do, uh, you know, from one place to another, two weeks is minimum. It's going to cost you to relocate. Even if it is a 20 minute trip from your old place to a new place, it will, it will still take an entire day. You have to pack. You have to make sure that the place that you're leaving is in a good condition because you need good reviews on Airbnb. You need to make sure that people, uh, you know, interested in, in hosting you. These little things, they add up. And by the time you come to a new place, even if it is a short trip, it will already be two o'clock. You will have to unpack. You will take a shower. And that's it. The, the day gone. And normally you would be doing that on Saturday because during the weekdays you're working. So anyway, two weeks is, is minimum. One of the benefits of staying longer for than two weeks is that you get to experience life as a local rather than a tourist. Uh, 
it is even harder to relocate to another country. The reason for that is the climates will change. It's always a kind of a shocking experience. Or for example, we went from Vietnam to South Korea and Vietnam was extremely hot. It was something like 35 degrees. And then we arrived to South Korea and it was quite a bit chilly there. And we arrived in the evening, so it was actually a bit colder. And your your body just can't take it that well. So you, you'll need at least a week to get adjusted to the climate. It will make you tired, you'll have a jet lag, you'll have these little things that add up and uh, make your traveling experience tedious. Unless you really want to do this digital nomad thing for maybe two, three months, then I wouldn't recommend uh, doing these um, these jumps all the time. So two weeks is the minimum. We've been asked these questions before and we wanted to answer them in the video so that we don't have to answer the, them again. But if you do have specific questions or if you know, want to know more about what gear do we use or you know what is it like to actually be on the road all the time, uh, please let us know. Leave a comment below. This is it for today. Thank you very much.